Hey there, fellow YouTubers. Uh, just the other night, uh, a couple of us were online chatting after one of the blog TV shows, and I was mentioning that I had rediscovered a cast iron, I guess, potbelly stove, small one, in the back of my garage. I forgot that I had inherited from uh, my godmother before she passed away, and I kept saying I was going to get around to redoing it, and never did, put it in the back of the garage and forgot all about it. Got buried behind a lot of crap. Let's see, a lot of crap. <laughs> anyway, we were discussing it and let me see which one it is. It's, it says sun on the front. It's a King Stove and Range Company, written right along here. Uh, let's see what else. Any other markings? Oh. Sheffield, Alabama. On there. On top. Uh, I guess that's the company logo. Right there. <clears throat> it's an 18-40-50. What it's saying. My thing is, the flue stopper here that I had with it. Let me see. Spindle. It is a actually I can read that. It is a Griswold. Erie, Pennsylvania. New American five inch. Which I found strange being with this, but anyway, it needs a bit of restoration, can't see in there, a little light in, I think it was more of a coal stove than a wood burning, but I don't know enough about either to tell you anything. Bottom there, but coal pan, uh, dust pan. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, a few of you wanted to see what it was that I was talking about, <clears throat> so I thought I'd drag it out today. Let y'all see what I got. But, I got the sandblaster I'm using with the, uh, well, what, what the heck is that? <laughs> Air compressor, duh. Um, I was doing some of my cast iron pots with, uh, last night, and that was working really well, so I'm thinking I'm going to do the same thing here. Get a, sandblast the whole thing down. Looks like they, my godmother probably had painted it gray. They had used it, gosh, probably going back late 50s, back in New York when I was living in New York. I'm in North Carolina now. Brought it down here with me when I moved. Um, but they had, well, the entire family most of my family lived in the city and had weekend homes out, well, what was considered the country back then out on Long Island. Uh, now it is beyond mass suburbia. Uh, but they had bought, you know, quite a bit of property. And my, my grandfather was a um, carpenter and my godfather was a brick mason. And basically, they built the homes out on the island. And from my understanding, this was one of two stoves that they used. They had in the basement uh, when they had the basement finished and the flooring up. You know, this is what they would use to heat the basement because they would stay in the basement when they come out on weekends to do the work on the house uh, while they were construction uh, constructing the house itself above framing it out and all 
you know, basically they slept in the basement on cots and used these stoves to keep the basement warm. So, like I said, I ended up getting one and like I said, never did anything with it. I never had a means of uh, being able to restore it myself and the cost of having somebody do it was astronomical. <clears throat> but now with the sandblaster, I think I can clean it up pretty pretty good, get some good uh, heat resistant paint on here. Of course, black. Um, but if anyone has any idea as to whether this can burn wood in here, like I said, it's not big. Uh, hold on one second. Let's see if I can get a measurement inside. All right, let's try this here. Uh, all the way to the back, and as you see, coming to the edge, we're right at about 11 inches, just under 11 inches to say 10 and a half at its widest. So it's not big, but I don't know if this can is strictly for coal or if it can be used for wood. I mean, I personally don't know if there would be a difference. You know, I think coal burns a little bit hotter than the wood, so I'm thinking it could be used for both. But if anyone knows anything, hey, you know, give me a private message uh, or comment below and let me know what you think or what I can do with this or what I might need to do to restore it back to near original. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, yeah. One other thing. I just thought it was a little unusual that the opening for the pipe is oval shaped. Now, I know most of the units I see today are round. Um, and I'm just wondering how easy it is going to be to find a pipe to fit that. But we'll find out. Alright, yeah, this is part of the haul that I had today. Cast iron. Take it in the house for seasoning. I got some inside already. On there. And some inside. And, and really easy for me to do the seasoning. I got about 25 pieces today at an auction. And I got about five or six inside that I'm going to be stripping the seasoning off tonight, <clears throat> getting them ready to be re-seasoned. But yeah, these are great uh, for cooking without any power using uh, either coal or wood. Do have a fireplace in the house, so obviously I can use that for cooking. But I will show you some of the cast iron Dutch ovens that I have, and the tripod setups, as well as some of the cook tables that I have also. And I'll be back. All right. Besides the ones in the car, these are just a few more that I have here. I'm gonna work on. Stripping out the Agner. I like stripping the coatings out and getting them ready to be reseasoned so that they'd be good for uh, ready for use. But as you can tell, I have a small collection, and this is not including what I already own. <laughs>